That is so high. Go on. Yeah. I still can't reach. Store at Army, another Monday. And this week, we are getting ourselves stuck in another pit. This one's potentially bigger than the last one. So the plan is all of us gonna jump in, try and get ourselves stuck, and then escape the pit of doom. Yeah, we actually don't know how we're gonna get out. So, uh, thoughts, Toby Seagard, do you think we're gonna get out? Yeah. I think we can get ourselves pretty high up these corners. But as a team, I don't know if we can get to the top edge. Brilliant. It's such a high drop in and there's a lot of sketchy kind of inconsistencies about it, you know? And we are on like a university campus. So another added threat is people being able to actually come into the pit and kick us off. Oh wait, he's going in. Boys. Oh. What? Whoa. Whoa. Ow. If you've got an injury, that is not a height drop that you want to be taking. Boys, I'm in the pit. This is so large. He's really put me off doing that drop, to be honest. That made it look horrible. You're gonna need a roll, boss. You're gonna need a roll, boss. Whoa! What are you doing there? Mate, that's a, that's a heavy drop early in the morning. Jesus Christ, I think this is a hell of a load higher than the last one was. Right, so hopefully nobody comes out of these little rooms. I mean, if we get super desperate, we can try picking this lock, I suppose. This is the crazy thing about this challenge, is we don't actually know whether it's possible. Dude, we've got equipment. This is a massive experiment for us, because obviously we don't know which way we're getting out yet. That's the funnest bit about this challenge, is I don't have a clue how we're getting out right now, but we're in. We want to see the perspective. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a chance in hell we're wall popping out of this. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Bob. If I'm in your way, tell me to fuck up. Oh, he's trying the climber's route down. Ah, Wait. Oh, I was just going to say, right? do you remember how that went last time? <laughs> like the climber's route down. Backwards, I've been really liking the backwards recently. I've done a couple from some splats. They never attack your niggles. Josh is in, he's chucked his jumper in. Let's go. You did like a DD roll out of that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Callum. Get a little rolling. 180. Yes. Nicely done. The drop squad is dropped in. I think we should think about these things first. Oh, how they can help. These finger oh, Toby's grips. feeling That's out my, the fingers. That's my They're actually slopey crimps. And they've got dust With in them. With that as well. Sahara dust in them. Yeah. What we need is one person standing stack, one person on someone's shoulders, alien into the wall, you climb up and stand up. One person's here. Yeah. Then someone's sitting on someone else's shoulders. That other person then climbs up. What do you reckon about these little bits of equipment? None of them al alone are high enough. You'd have to still jump from them and it'd be a high jump to like grab the top. Right there. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. We're yeah. part of the building team. Sorry, mate. The boys are currently in the room. They've been in there for maybe 10, 15 minutes now. This is what they're dealing with. What are you reckon? Is it a hard one? Can they escape? It's like balancing on some weird... That looks sketchy as fuck. Oh. <gasps> Narnia! Ooh, that changes everything. So they picked up the first obstacle there. Toby's worked out if you open the top flat, you can actually climb up this ladder. <laughs> he still got so far. Oh no. Yeah. It's just looks horrible. Police sirens aren't making me any less anxious. On that? A wobbly pee. Okay, they're not from. Oh yeah. The international sign for shush. Fair enough for that one. It's the least stable base you can have. <laughs> Rolling wheels. Oh, is there a hook? Is it a hookable end? Oh my god. Oh my god. Nah, I reckon it's good. There is an option here where we group together as a team and throw our lightest member up. If somebody's hanging at the top, we could probably reach their feet and potentially scrabble out. I reckon we can catapult quite 
easily to that. Did we try this against the corner? Because you'll be able to get your weight oh. forward a bit more into the corner. Callum oh. Howe. Pop it in the corner. Oh, teamwork, bro. The awkward like thing that. is we have these... Oh, oh no, Josh, oh. get this a little bit like... Toby couldn't get up to the top of that last time because... Well, the problem was before, he couldn't get in enough, but now you've got, like, the opening of the corner. At least yeah. get a knee in, get your chest forward a bit, be able to stand up. The problem is we're putting it on the corner is that this side dips down so that the flat bottom is not flat anymore. There's one side that's wobbling. Oh, if only I was allowed to help. Yeah, mate. Bob, if you're gonna <laughs> fall, just try and say like split second, like out. Yeah, like split second before you fall, just say down or so. I'll just. Oh, he's got his foot. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Go on. Oh, yeah, yeah, seems good. Seems good. You still can't reach it, man. I I don't think you can. Really? You did look yeah, quite a far I reach. There's no way you can jump. Did yeah, yeah. yeah. I try just... climbing up, Toby? I mean, if it's hard enough for Toby to stay there. Oh, maybe. Oh, as in, as in, yeah, he's yeah, there, there and I can climb up there. Yeah. Let me know when you're all ready for an it's attempt. It's so sketchy. If that's possible. You confident? Maybe. <laughs> if you go up first, I think. Yeah. And then I'll come. Nice yeah. shot. Nice shot. Oh, no, no, no. What about you lean that other board up against? Oh, my God, lean man. Lean that other board up against the board. You can have someone helping from the side. Oh, I see what you mean. Callum, watch out of, of Josh yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, these boys are putting a lot of pressure in there. Well done, Josh. Well done. Right, now, now, soft, <laughs> nice and smooth, Josh. Is there any way that you can go up? <laughs> there is a lip, of, like, underneath here, like, that is... Is there anything going on here? No, I don't think he can pistol squat you up. He's only one No, player. no, I can't push you up. You just Look how close he is to the him. top. Toby, you, you come up, if you come up a little bit more, oh, so it's God. not such a, just like, a foot and hard a joint angle. Come on, Josh. Come on. Yes! Yes! Yes, Josh! The first one out of the <laughs> What? <laughs> that was sketchy as hell, man. Josh is out. What? <laughs> I did not enjoy watching that. That was horrible, reach. man. That was really tense. The, yeah, the first one to escape again using Toby. That was similar style as the last one. Yeah, what really saying? Was that harder? Or? That was just that like weird element of just like, I've got to trust this. And that little extra element of Toby's shoulder helped me get up and out. I'm very, very surprised with that. I didn't so think we were sick, gonna bro. Let's go. I, honestly, I don't... Now the boys... <laughs> Josh has got the longest reach by like two inches. All of our reaches do not surpass Josh's reach. So that technically we just can't do that. Again, on this one, it's savage mode. So Josh has escaped, but he can't actually help the guys escape from the top. Now we're thinking about human catapult to get Benj out. This is the thing that we have to think strategically though, is that even if we get you out, there's three of us still left. And how are we going to do that? You could do catapult with only two people. I don't think so. Remember when we did Suicide Walker and it's like yeah. similar height to this and we had five including oh, Tim is, Champion. Yeah, right. uh, Realistically, I'm standing here. <laughs> we can <could> try. <laughs> that is so high for a catapult. If they successfully achieve it, it's the highest one I've seen from us so far. And we've seen how big the drop is on the way in, so if he doesn't make the top out, you've got that big drop again. What is the technique with this catapult again then? Yeah. Like that. What you do? What you do? And then I'll be underneath just giving them. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, lads, this is a practice run to see where I get to. Boys, when you chuck, you need to like spread apart. <clears throat> and we're not going to leave. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's a big catapult. The human catapult thing, I feel like we sporadically kind of give it a go when we need to use it, but we've never really properly practiced the technique. We practiced that one time when we cleared the river and Gilbert yeah. insert clear, because yeah. that was sick. Hamburg as well. We've, we've, done, we've got True. experience, fortunately. I just want to, like, a foot away so I can sort of, like, lean into yeah. it, because yeah, 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 if I want to go straight up, there's a chance that I just get this momentum <laughs> a little like bit. Like, one square back, and I think, oh, right. for depth, I don't think go lower than, like, yeah. here. Three, two, yeah. yeah. One and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is catapult escape yeah. attempt number one. So it counts at the top like that. That's yeah. Yeah. Is that right in the hands? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, two, one, and... Yes, I can do that. I can do that. Wow. You're close. Yes. I didn't know you could do it. Jesus Christ. This catapult, if this goes down, fair play. Let's try that again. Wow. 
Yeah. Focus, synchronization, council at the top. Focus, deep on the end. Concentrate your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play. Bravo to my team because I ain't getting out that, that on my own. That was so clean. That this is that. so clean, boys. Oh, Let's go. <laughs> oh my god! That That's was... literally opened the door to being not stuck in so many more places. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you have to have more people with you that can do that. He's doing it with a dislocated <laughs> finger. There's three left. I'm not even sure we have any ideas, to be honest, or strategies. I'm willing to try the cat with you. Who's flying? Toby. Fly me out. Toby. You might get me out. Yeah, yeah you might, it might work. But I also reckon you're more likely to be able to do some sort of climbing. Thing. We have got to think strategically because somebody's going to be left in here last. I don't know, you don't want to be last. <laughs> you can obviously do that stand on the shoulders again, but Josh has to reach. He has that. Yeah. Uh, you could use that. Brainstorming. That's kind of what I was thinking. Physical about. engineering brainstorming. Now you can stand here. So oh, long as see. these are sturdy, you'll be able to jump here. We can both give both of them a bit of support each. Yeah. So let's try and brace both of these. <laughs> Oh, it's actually good. Oh, that door's gonna smell this way. Open that door. Yeah, yeah. Is that the worst? You just, you're gonna have to jump, and I don't know if I can do that. Watch out for the um. I can. Oh, I'm pushing this. Oh, shit. You can get your right foot on. Yes, Bob. Yes, Bob. Come on, come on. 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 Come Right. Well, I don't know if I could jump that. Yeah, I don't know if I can do it. In some of these corners here, there's little bits. Like right in the corner, there's little. I still have to jump. Handhold. Okay. Is it a more stable position? The, the jump from the top of that. We need a more a more solid base to jump from. No, just lay it and then we've got a bit more like. Great. That would be so much nicer to stand. That's so much better, actually. Um, and nicer to jump yeah, I think off so. of as yeah. well. From Toby's point of view, when mm. you're stood like on a really unsafe thing, really close to the wall, and have to jump like this far to grab, it's, it's sketchy it's for sure. Because yeah. you are close against the wall, so you can't really bend your knees for a full jump. Yeah. It's really scary. Yeah. This, this is slippery as well. Yeah. Go on, Bob. Oh, God. Yeah, it's it's just, it still looks terrifying. It's totally different going up here. It's, it's a little bop. So scary. <laughs> You're so close. You'll load down like a couple of feet and then like there's no way you won't yeah. make it from that jump. Fully commit it's to just, it. Just do you trust your takeoff? If he does come down, he's coming down straight onto you, Drew. I guess if Drew moves out of the way, then that's going to make it more unstable, you know? Maybe you stand in a different position. Come on. Send it. Yeah! It is fine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I kind of want to have a look at it. Do you reckon you could hold it in the way that I would? Yeah. Yeah. This is so much scarier than it looks from down there. <laughs> How strong are you hanging on one arm for like a second or two like Toby did? Yeah, I'll be calm doing that. True. Is there a possibility you use the hook as a, like an extra, because we're talking inches now. Yeah. Oh, mate, mate, it's possible. All you need is a little toe pop. Oh. All right, I'm going to send it. <laughs> Why is this so scary? 
Dry that left fingertip. Yeah. Good man. Good man. Good man. Oh. <laughs> oh no. That was so intense. Woo. It's just such a tiny jump. It's, it's a classic Fine. mental challenge. Yeah, yeah. So there's only one person yeah, left in here and that is Callum Powell. But in this circumstance, it's way harder for him to get out. How how is he actually gonna do it? He was last in there last time, and when we faked about leaving him behind, but can we actually do it, Scott? I'm down. Yeah. All right. See you later. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys later. All right. See you in a bit, mate. Take it easy down there. I'll chuck in the sleeping bag later if you want. <laughs> Just me again. Do we actually leave Callum? What would you say, Star Army? I'm kind of tempted. Maybe we can chuck in this as like a. To help him out, help sort him of thing. Out. Callum, mate, you've got your <gasps> lifeline here. Yeah, I don't think there's actually any way I can get out on my own. Are you fing kidding? A broom. That'll do, yeah. Can he work out how to build a little scaffolding rig on wheels? First time. No help. <laughs> <laughs> Lego man's at it again. Start building, bro. Bro, come on. How? This isn't even going to be. Whoever left a comment on the last video saying, why are you pretending it's so hard? We don't pretend f all. That is hard. We got a few comments from climbers saying, as a climber, this looks very easy, but nice that you guys did it. The only thing I could probably say to like resonate with the climbers a bit more with that, for that last video, imagine everything you're climbing is a sloper covered in dust and below you is just hard hard concrete none of that no mats no rope nothing and obviously the fact that most of us aren't climbers back to the uh, matter at hand callum is still down there starting his own scaffolding apprenticeship yeah 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 oh. Yeah. 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 Most of this work that Callum's doing is lifting things above his head, like with your arms in the air. It looks so tough. Yo, Callum, Callum. Oh my God, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> hard work for the last half an hour. It's ruined as soon as he moved. Oh God. Oh. Look at it. It's fucking metallic now. <laughs> Oh, give up. Oh yeah, by the way, last um, Escape from a Pit video, I asked in the, the outro if anyone owns a prison. Guess what? Stora Army came through and we got a prison lined up. Honestly, is there anyone out there with like a big warehouse that we can build a legit park or escape room? And Mr. Beast, I know you've reacted to our videos before. We need your help, mate. We can build one of the best park or escape rooms in the world. It's super, super viral. Store Army, this is up to you. Can you get in contact with Mr. Beast in the comments? Just keep commenting Mr. Beast so we can get this escape room idea actually actualized. This is more extreme than your escape room, mate. Look at that. That's extreme. It's locked itself together. Have you got any advice for him to get out? How to get out? Next to the wall. Yeah. Bit secure. Next to the wall so you go more rich. Start the build next to the wall. Yeah. got yourself a nice little base there to jump off sort of the only issue is it's so much lower than what we were jumping off do i want to actually stand on this piece of shit no you're good you're good cal honestly it's solid thanks toby oh my god He's not that far right. Even like his hand in the crack, he's probably weak to jump. Honestly, uh, one finger, finger in. Yeah, one finger in box jump. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Honestly, bro, you're oh, not yeah, that far away. Right. This is a high jump. It is, yeah. I reckon if you do a one hand leap, you've got that. Honestly. That's very. On, you've got that, bro. Yeah, you got that. 
Here we go. Final story. Oh, no. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yes, bro. Nice. Sick. I'm so f***ing long. I was just kind of going The saga is over. Yeah, what the hell? We're all out. How long will we stuck for? Team entering and then the full team exiting. I reckon that was two and a half hours. Callum alone took an hour. Honestly, from the start, I didn't think anyone was going to escape. We got the whole team out without aid from above. We need a harder parkour escape room. Listen up, if you know one, a deeper pit, a harder pit, or someone that can sort it out, let us know. Somebody find a pit that we cannot get out. <laughs> We're good boys, we're good boys, look. Boom. Oh, oh whoa! Nice. nice. Yeah. We're going to heaven. We're going to heaven. <laughs> <laughs>